And in St. Augustine over the weekend, face masks became mandatory inside of businesses if you cannot socially distance. And tonight, Jessica Clark is on your side reporting on the response, what it's been, and also how at least one city commissioner wants to expand the law. Larry and Mary Mead own two Sparrows Boutique in downtown St. Augustine. Saturday morning, yes. Yeah. This weekend, a new local law went into effect, which requires people to wear face masks inside businesses if social distancing cannot be carried out. During a socially distanced interview, the Meads told me they did not really have much pushback from the public. But I think most people, this is the new norm. So I, I don't think there's any question on it. And some business owners say they're relieved with the new face mask mandate because now they don't look like the bad guys forcing masks because it's now the law to wear one. I think that you know what? It makes it easier. Yeah. I think you're not the one like you're making all the rules. The rules have already been made. They also say it seems more people are wearing masks even outside. The masks are required inside. They are not mandatory outside and high traffic areas even such as St. George Street. A street City Commissioner John Valdez describes as COVID soup. St. George Street is a uh... I, have, I refer to it as a petri dish. He is pushing for masks to be mandatory outdoors as well in St. Augustine in high density areas, even though he acknowledges it would be hard to enforce. If you make something a law, most people will simply abide by the law or come close to it because it's a law. As for the Meads, their store was closed for two months during the shutdown, and they believe that the more people wear masks, the less likely stores and businesses will have to close again. But, but it's not just the mask. It's almost like everyone's forgotten a little bit about the six foot rule, the yeah. washing the hands. Don't make the mask the next new fix. It's got to be all everything. In St. Augustine, Jessica Clark, First Coast News on your side.